What's the resemblance between Jeff Winger and producer Dan Harmon? Did you spot that one time when Abed was randomly delivering a baby in the background? How did Community and Cougar Town cross over? And did you notice Beetlejuice walking by? Greetings, Green Dalians. I'm Dylan. We've done our homework, and today's all about Community. Pretty damn cool. Cool, cool, cool. 10. That bully in season 1. Right, remember that incident when an immature bully terrorized the study group? Did you ever wonder who exactly the actor who played the bully was? Here's your hint. In the show's pilot, countless references were made to The Breakfast Club. The first episode even ended with an in-memoriam to John Hughes, who was an epic director in the 80s and 90s. What was his most iconic film? None other than The Breakfast Club. So now fast forward to episode 12. The bully is Anthony Michael Hall, who was the geek in The Breakfast Club. Irony noted, thanks. On another note, did you notice how many actors Community borrowed from Breaking Bad during its sixth season run? Breaking Bad fans will recognize Matt L. Jones, who was Brandon Mayhew, Giancarlo Esposito, who played antagonist Gustavo, Jonathan Banks, who portrayed Mike, and even Breaking Bad's creator, Vince Gilligan. Number 9. Abed's Background Shenanigans Remember that episode where Dean Pelton and Annie host an STD fair with faulty condoms? Amidst all the drama, those who watched closely would have spotted an anonymous man casually tossing away a condom before the couple headed off to have some unprotected fun time. Of course, it would have been naive of viewers to think that was the last of this backstory. Sure enough, about nine months later, viewers see Abed meeting a pregnant woman. All in the background, of course. Shortly after, the unborn baby's father confronts Abed, possibly suspecting him of having an affair with his wife. And not much later, Abed delivers the same couple's baby in a pickup truck. The rest of the study group was totally oblivious to the incident, as were many viewers. This story arc is picked up again in season two, when Shirley goes into labor and Abed is the only one who can say he has experience delivering babies. Nice, right? But it turns out this one wasn't intentional, according to producer Dan Harmon. 8. Annie's Boobs Caught in the Act Okay, so by now we all know that Annie's Boobs is a mischievous little primate who procured various items, not only pens, over the seasons. But did you ever see the exact moment when the sneaky monkey steals one of Annie's pens? Prepare for your brain to be wrinkled. If you take your eyes off the puppy in Dean Pelton's arms and look to the left of the crumpled paper, you'll see the exact moment when the little monkey's hands reach up and poof, gone like the wind. Short trivia break. Annie's boobs is portrayed by animal actor Crystal the Monkey. Both Crystal and Chang, played by Ken Jeong, appear in the 2011 sequel of The Hangover. So don't question Senor Chang or you'll get bit. Class resumed. Number 7. Cougar Town Crossover Community's first five seasons aired on NBC. The popular hit show, Cougar Town, aired on the rival network, ABC. Despite airing on different networks, the two shows crossed over, which led to the ensuing three-part hilarity. Part 1. In Season 2, Abed had a meltdown when a single-season British show called Cougarton Abbey ended. Then he said he'd found the American spin-off, Cougar Town, of course. Later, the theme was repeated at a dinner party, when Abed told Jeff Winger about his time as an extra on Cougar Town, one of his favorite shows, and added that he got the opportunity to be an extra for a scene. We initially thought this was simply a funny gag, but it later turned into a real-life crossover. Part 2. In Community Season 2 Finale, Cougar Town stars Busy Phillips and Dan Bird popped up as fellow Greendale students in a crowd reaction shot. Once again, this is blink and miss, so watch closely. But the hilarity didn't end there. Part 3. A few weeks after Community Season 2 finale, actor Pootie, who plays Abed, had a real-life cameo on Cougar Town Season 2 finale. Viewers saw Abed sitting behind Cougar Town's Phillips and Bird's characters. And instead of pretending to be an extra, Abed looked directly at the characters. This show is just... Streets ahead. Know what I mean? Number 6. The nerdy genius that is Dan Harmon did you know that Sony rehired producer Dan Harmon for season 5 after firing him at the end of season 3? After the fourth season, which most fans and critics considered to be inferior, there were rumors that McHale, who plays Jeff, insisted that Harmon get his job back. Experienced TV critic Alan Sippenwall noted that it was the first time in the modern history of TV that a showrunner was fired, then rehired. By the way, did you know the series is a semi-autobiographical account of Harmon's own experience at Greendale Community College in California? Although, this show is set in Colorado. He also took a Spanish class, and the basis for Abed was a friend of his with the same name. 
Also, Jeff's character was apparently based on Harmon's own egotistical side. Did you notice this painting in Season 3, Episode 14? In the painting, the founder of Greendale is seen to be a naked man. Easter egg alert! The man in the painting is a new Dan Harmon! And wait, did you spot the backstory behind Gwenifer, the code used by Britta and Jeff to cover up their secret relationship? This whole storyline originated from a Twitter feud between Harmon and at Gwenifer, who called director Dan a fat bigot. So, what did Harmon do? Use her name as a punching bag on Community, of course. Hey, Green Dalians, make yourself some butter noodles for what's still to come. Number 5. The Blanket Fort Don't worry, they had the proper permits. Here's a short, yet hidden layer for you. In Season 3, viewers saw the chase through Troy and Abed's Blanket Fort being interrupted by a Latvian Independence Pride March. Did you think it was just a random gag to break up the chase? If you did, you might just be streets behind. In fact, this parade was a nod to Latvian Independence Day, which is the same date community celebrated its air date, November 18th, 2010. Number 4. The Hatching of a 3-Year-Old Beetlejuice Easter Egg It's a well-known rule that if you say Beetlejuice three times, you can summon him. While this rule was created in the Tim Burton movie, the same logic applies in Community, but with one tweak. You don't have to say it all at once. If you didn't notice it, here's how it went down. In Season 1, that professor who was dating Jeff said, The blonde in your Spanish class. What's her name? Butter, bitter, Beetlejuice. In Season 2, Britta asks Jeff about his underwear and refers to it as the turquoise stripy Beetlejuice number. In Season 3, Annie tells the group about the spooky Beetlejuice. As Annie mentions the name for what is the third time, you can spot a man dressed as Beetlejuice walking by in the background. Golly, Miss Molly, these Easter eggs are like Pokemon! Gotta catch them all! Number 3. The Recurrence of Daybreak in the eccentric study group's third year at Greendale, Abed told a horror story during Britta's pre-Halloween party. Remember that jazz melody by Michael Haggins called Daybreak? The song was on Abed's mind as he hummed it while telling his story. It's also his favorite song. In any case, over the years, Daybreak's catchy melody was hummed by others in the study group too, and Neil even played it on the campus radio. Number 2. Troy Captured by Pirates Few people know just where the show's last season was filmed. Stay tuned and we'll tell you. But first, remember how, after Pierce passed away, Mr. Schoen stared the one condition for Troy to inherit Pierce's fortune? I'm prepared to leave Troy Barnes my remaining shares in the Hawthorne Wipes Company currently valued at $14.3 million on one condition. You must first sail my boat, the Childish Tycoon, by yourself around the entire world. Fans then learned that Troy and LeVar Burton would depart on this trip together. Yeah, because Pierce's will mentions someone would travel with him as his co-captain to verify he didn't cheat. Did the name of that boat ring any bells for you? Pierce's boat, the Childish Tycoon, is a reference to Donald Glover's rap career as Childish Gambino. Long story short, while Troy didn't resurface in Season 5, there was a message hidden in plain sight in the headlines of another episode. In Season 5, a shot of the local news channel shares information about Troy and LeVar Burton's travels. The headlines reveal that the boat Troy and LeVar Burton, as himself, were sailing on was captured by pirates in the Gulf of Mexico. Did you spot this? All hands on deck! Here's an exciting rumor. As we saw, Donald Glover, who portrays Troy, wasn't back for Season 6, but Dan Harmon has hinted that Troy's story might just be used in the long-promised movie. Hashtag, six seasons in a movie. As Harmon said at a previous Comic-Con, Troy's out there somewhere. He may be in peril. That's what movies are made of. Dan jokingly hinted at a connection to Star Trek III, The Search for Spock, teasing that the movie may be called The Search for Troy. Of course, this isn't confirmation, but it gives community diehards around the world hope. Number 1. Final Seasons Filming Location We'd love to hear if you knew the next one. In an interview on Armchair Expert, actress Allison Brie, who played Annie, revealed where the cast filmed the final season of Community. It was in the basement of CBS Studio Center in Los Angeles, California, right underneath the Parks and Recreation set. The set designers worked in the small space, but the writers added that the school was under construction to explain the recreated sets. So, how did you score? Are you a real human being or not? Are there any other epic community topics you'd like us to discuss? We'd love to hear from you in the comments. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay awesome!